If you have a Garmin GPS and you'd like to import the waypoints or tracks that you've recorded on that handheld GPS into ArcGIS, it's pretty simple, but there's just a little step that you need to do first. So ArcGIS won't read the Garmin files. So what you need to do is to go to this website that I've got up here and download the DNR Garmin small free software. So once you've done that, you can open it up and the next couple of stages are really, really easy. So it already recognizes that I've got my GPS plugged in. So this is plugged in via the USB cable. Now what I'd like to do is to download tracks. I could do the same for waypoints though. But I'm going to go to track and then just simply go download. Now once I've done that, it asks me which file I'd like to download and I'm going to download the current one, which is the data that I collected as opposed to the inbuilt Garmin waypoints. Now as you can see, I'm downloading a track which displays on my handheld as a line. But when it comes into the DNR Garmin software, you can see it's actually a number of points. This is because I've set the track to record on an interval basis, either based on time delay or on distance. So I might have recorded every 10 meters or every 10 seconds, for example. So it collects individual points and joins them together as a line. Now, when I export these data, I need to think carefully about if I want to retain any of that information that it's collected as points. So if you scroll over, you can see that for each of the points along the line, it's collected altitude, for example. And that might actually be really important for my line feature. Now, if that is important or if any of this information in the attributes you want to keep, then it's important to export your data as a point file as opposed to a line. You can always go into ARC and then create a line out of the point file later, but once it's in a line out of DNR Garmin, you can't retrieve that information back from the individual points. So when you're ready to export, simply go up to File, Save To, and I'm going to save to an ArcMap file. So it'll ask me whereabouts I'd like to save that. I'm just going to save it to my temp directory for the moment. Now here's the point where it asks me what type of file I'd like to export it as. Now I want to export it as a point because I want to retain all that attribute information. Remembering that I can always change that later. So go OK and once it does that it will export it to a shape file that I can then go directly into ArcMap, load and then analyze further if I wish.